Democrats try to censor Robert F. Kennedy Jr. A hearing on censorship. This is this is wild. But they're Marxists, what you expect. I mean, Marxists always try to shut down dissenting voices. That's what they do. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out um, so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram and my merch store. Also, check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Democratic lawmakers on the select subcommittee on the weaponization of the federal government attempted to disrupt testimony of Democratic presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. during a hearing on censorship. Rep. Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and y'all know from my old channel, I talked about her a lot, uh, evil, evil woman. But she proposed moving the hearing to a, quote, executive session, suggesting that Kennedy's testimony might be defamatory or incriminating and wanted it behind closed doors. She cited recent controversial remarks made by Kennedy about the Wuhan coronavirus being, quote, ethnically uh, targeted towards Caucasians and black people rather than. Uh, Jews and Chinese people and they took what he said and took it way out of context that is not what he said he was just saying you know there's a report that was saying that Wu the Wuhan virus um, disproportionately affect black and Caucasians it doesn't really affect Hasidic Jews and Chinese people like that which it was it was a report written that he was just casually talking about it was true it was a true report, but that, I mean, they took what he said and tried to twist it like, like, oh, they create, like the Chinese and Jews created this bio weapon, which is not what he said, but, but I digress. Um, the motion by Washington Schultz was ultimately rejected by the Republican majority who voted to table it while Democrats opposed the delay. Prior to this, House Democrats demanded that Republicans rescind Kennedy's invitation to testify altogether. Kennedy was invited to speak at the censorship hearing due to his involvement with the group of social media users dubbed the Disinformation Dozen by federal officials who uh, posts were regu regularly flagged for censorship. And during the hearing, Democratic committee members interrupted Kennedy multiple times before the first recess. The committee's ranking member, Stacey Plaskett, complained about the length of Kennedy's opening statement but the Republican chairman, Jim Jordan, defended the uh, relaxed time limit for opening statements. As the hearing continued, Democrats once again attempted to censor Kennedy when he refuted accusations from Plaskett that he promoted racist and anti-vaccine conspiracies. Kennedy denied ever advising black Americans against vaccination and clarified that he is fully uh, compliant with the vaccine schedule accepted, except for COVID. The purpose of the hearing was to examine the federal government's role in censoring Americans, particularly in light of Missouri v. Biden uh, case and big tech's involvement in silence and speech. The witness panel included Breitbart journalist Emma Jo Morris and Special um, Assistant Attorney General D. John Sewer of Louisiana, who testified about the government's abuse of censorship practices. The uh, House Select Committee on the Weaponization of the Federal Government has been investigating the government collaboration with uh, tech giants to censor speech since the start of the new Congress. Their focus um, has raised concerns about free speech, especially after previous hearings uh, of feature, featuring journalists behind the, uh, the Twitter files. A preliminary report by the weaponization panel revealed that FBI's collaboration with the Russian infiltrated intelligence agency in Ukraine to flag online posts for censorship, including accounts of American journalists and the U.S. Um, State Department, and I did a whole video on that. Um, at the center of the hearing was the ongoing appeal by the Biden administration against the injunction in Missouri uh, versus Biden case the federal judge issued a preliminary ruling to prevent federal officials from colluding with tech giants to implement a censorship regime until the litigation is concluded. And based on strong evidence presented by 
uh, plaintiff attorneys uh, general from Missouri and Louisiana. And I mean, they are going out of your way to shut down any type of dissent, any type of people, any any type of speech that's against the um, the Biden administration or against with the, um, the leftist agenda or ideologies they're trying to squash. And it's ridiculous that more people in government, even, I mean, where are the free speech Democrats? Where, why aren't they speaking out against this? Uh, it makes absolutely no sense to me that, um, that um, our government, who is charged with protecting our rights, are the main ones that's take, trying to take away our rights. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.